channel. Welcome back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, you know my first guest as an actor from Revolutionary Road, Nocturnal Animals, and The Shape of Water. He now stars as George Jones in George and Tammy. How y'all doing tonight, huh? That's good. I'm feeling pretty happy myself. Thanks, Fred. Welcome back to The Late Show, Michael Shannon. Nice to see you again. Thank you. How are you? You're very dapper this evening. Yes, That's thanks. Very nice. It, Thank you. It's a British. Suit. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, set Seville Row. How distingué. Thank yeah, you exactly. very much. Exactly. Um, uh, uh, the George Jones, musical icon, uh, you grew up in Kentucky, which I didn't, I didn't know. Right. I, I always think of you as a Chicago guy, but right. from how old were you when you left Kentucky? Well, my father lived in Chicago, so I would go back and forth. Uh, my mom's still down in Lexington, which is where I grew up mostly when I was a little boy. Did you listen to a lot of country music? Like, were you aware of George Jones as a kid? Not a stitch. No, I didn't listen to him. <laughs> no, no. Like, did we... you know Rolling in My Sweet Baby's Arms? Even though that really wasn't a hit of his, but... <laughs> I, I, I didn't really know his music. I, I, when I saw a picture of him, I vaguely remembered him as somebody I would see on Hee Haw uh, occasionally. Oh, I sure. I used to watch that show, Hee Haw. Oh, sure. Clang, clackety, clang, clackety, yeah. clang, clackety, clang, clang, clang. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Buck. Yeah. yeah, many Pearl and all that. But sure. uh, we, we we would put that on the TV sometimes. But I, my mom didn't really have uh, any records in the house, so the only time I ever heard music was on TV. Yeah. This is, uh, you're reunited with Jessica Chastain here. Yeah. You last performed together in 2011. I'm sorry, what was the film you guys did together? Take Shelter. Take Shelter. Right. And now, so the two of you, you're playing, you know, uh, George and Tammy. Any, is it intimidating to, like, have to go there and, and inhabit these these? Giants? Oh dear, yes, very intimidating. Um, <clears throat> you know, they, uh, they're royalty in, in, in country music, you know, and um, I felt a little bit self conscious about it. I don't, I'm not necessarily sure I resemble George Jones so much, but I, I didn't resemble Elvis and I played him, so. Uh, <laughs> but, which, is, which, is, which is a better icon to play, George Jones or Elvis, by the way? You know, I, I just came to love the stuffing out of both of them, I have to say. I mean, when you do the research and you listen to the interviews and read all the books, uh, they were both just really sweet, sweet men that were kind of, their life was like a tsunami that just rolled over them. And they, they got a little overwhelmed by it sometimes. But I, I like I, the fame and the attention, the all that kind of and, stuff. Yeah, the demands of, uh, of the life. And, you know, I think George, uh, as, as much as he loved singing, wished that perhaps, uh, even if he wasn't one of the greatest singers in the world, that maybe he would still be able to receive, you know, some kind of love. I don't want to get too pop psychology one-on-one about it, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Did you, did you talk to people who are close to, to George, like get some sense? Well, you know, uh, the, the, the show is somewhat based on a book that Georgette Jones wrote. She's the only child that George and Tammy had together, so uh, she was around, mm -hmm. and also uh, a, a fella, a lovely fella named Peanut Montgomery, who uh, that's a good name. Yeah, and uh, uh, played guitar with George and wrote songs for George, and and basically was probably one of his best friends. And uh, Peanut's wife Charlene. Yeah, we spent we spent a lot of time together. Yeah. Well, speaking of musical icons, uh, one of your co-stars in Amsterdam, another film of yours, is Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's enjoying yet another wonderful moment. And <laughs> it, the, you know, that movie came out last month. You have two daughters, correct? I do. And yes. so answer carefully here. Yeah. Are you a Swifty? Are you, are, you, are, you, <laughs> are you a fan of Taylor Swift? Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm more of a jazz guy. I mean, I'm just gonna... They're gonna see this. Just... They're gonna see this, Michael. 
I can't help myself. <laughs> no, uh, well, it's funny, because... Um, <laughs> I hope you said that to Taylor Swift the first day of shooting. I'm more of a jazz guy. <laughs> I'm more of a jazz guy, but yeah. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, um, no, my daughter, Sylvie, uh, actually, she asked if she could go to the premiere which, uh, of Amsterdam, which she doesn't typically ask if she can go to the premiere. And I thought, wow, she's really starting to show an interest in, uh, in what I do. And, Dad's and, work. Yeah, wow. yeah. And, finally gets and, it. This could probably be, it's kind of an educational movie, so sure, why not? you know, from a history standpoint. And then uh, I said, sure, honey, you you can come and bring some friends. And she says, is Taylor Swift going to be there? <laughs> and I said, well, I, I mean, I imagine she, she would be there. I mean, she's in the movie. But unfortunately, she wasn't able to attend uh, for whatever reason. So, but my, my daughter still went with her friends. I, th I think they had a good time. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know, the, the people can't get tickets. No. The big thing is that the Ticketmaster site crashed. People couldn't get tickets to Taylor's tour. Oh, no. But maybe you you could actually get your daughters, get back in their good graces, if you could reach out to Taylor. We could do it right now. Hey, Taylor, hey, if you're watching, hey, please uh, get... his two daughters need tickets to your tour. <laughs> and since you didn't show up to, to the premiere, I think the least she could do for you, since she embarrassed you in front of your daughters. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do me a solid. Yeah, save a family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save a family here. Exactly. We have to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Mr. Michael Shannon, everybody. Stick around.